That nine-month-old baby now recovering at a Casey hospital with some serious injuries. And 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth is live at Lawrence tonight outside of that apartment complex where this baby was discovered. Josh. Yeah, Mike, according to who we talked to, the neighbors, they told us another neighbor was walking past this dumpster in the middle of the night, heard baby's cries, and immediately that's when she called for help. Confusion and concern at a Lawrence apartment complex after a disturbing discovery. You never think that something like this is going to happen this close. Early this morning, a neighbor called police after hearing a baby crying. When officers arrived, they found the baby inside a trash dumpster. Neighbors are glad police found the baby when they did. And especially with the heat of the day. Uh, that would have been really bad. Part of the crime scene includes a car surrounded by police tape. One neighbor says he called 911 after seeing the baby's father acting very strange around 1 a.m. Just started randomly talking to us, and we could tell he was definitely on something. The baby was rushed to a Kansas City hospital in life threatening condition. We're told the baby is now in serious but stable condition. Again, that's a nine-month-old baby in serious but stable condition there in Kansas City. We spoke with Lawrence Police just minutes ago, and they could not confirm if they have anyone in custody. So far, no arrests have been made. From Lawrence, Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News. You can see just so heartbreaking. People still using that dumpster behind him. I just can't even imagine this. And Cynthia, with his baby being found, it's a good time to remember there are some options for families out there who feel like they just cannot care for that new baby, and they don't know what to do. Yeah, the option is called Safe Haven, and it is specifically uh, for newborns, and it's a place where people can find help if they need it. So it's just another option for them. What about being prosecuted? Some people have those fears that they could get in trouble, legal trouble, if something like that were to happen. So here's how it actually works. They cannot get in trouble as long as the infant is under the age of 45 days and shows no signs of any kind of abuse and you hand the child to someone at the designated safe haven location. There are no questions asked and no fear of facing any charges. Now if a new parent decides they cannot care for the newborn, she can drop off the baby at the safe haven locations. Those locations include hospitals, police stations and fire stations. No questions asked if the infant is under 45 days of age. So looking at the case Case in Lawrence, that parent could still drop off the nine month old, but police could question them on exactly why. Now, once the parent hands the baby over to someone, those workers will immediately address any medical care that baby needs. Now, we have so much more information uh, for people on safe haven laws on our website. Just go to kshb.com, including safe haven locations. Now, there you can also watch an incredible story on our anchor, Krista Dubill. Uh, it's a story that she did as she uh, reunited one woman who was left in a Chicago dumpster as a baby with a man who actually found and saved her life. And Mike, experts say also that it is important to talk about this option because new parents need to know where there is a safe way to surrender their newborn that doesn't involve just leaving them you know, at risk. Oh, of course, because at the end of the day, you're talking about the baby's health that we're all concerned about, too. Cynthia, thanks so much. Important information Absolutely. today. Absolutely.